This year has seen many changes in the prices of Rolex and other watch brands, which can be swayed by various elements like market demand, supply levels, economic situations, and what consumers prefer. It's tough to confidently foresee if Rolex prices will keep declining, stabilize, or even rise in the coming times. Market trends can often be hard to forecast, and prices might sway due to a mix of reasons. If you're thinking about getting a Rolex or another luxury watch, seeking advice from industry experts, or examining the latest market trends is a wise move to ensure an informed choice. In today's video brought to you by Luxury Focus, we will take a closer look at the fascinating path that Rolex's market is taking. Is it expected that the price of Rolex watches will continue to fall? What circumstances are causing this trend? Furthermore, in these circumstances, what kinds of watches should you think about buying? All these will be answered in this video. As a watch enthusiast, you should have noticed the sudden decline in Rolex prices. This was clearly noticed in May 2023, as Rolex encountered a notable decrease in consumer demand, leading to a notable decline in prices. Buyers were worried because of this situation, especially those who had bought Rolex watches at their original prices with the hope of selling them for a profit. Understandably, individuals found themselves distracted by the abrupt shift in circumstances. Buying Rolex watches as an investment has changed the way the market works. So, this change has affected people who just want to buy and enjoy a Rolex watch without planning to sell it later for a profit. While there's no shame in buying with an eye towards resale or investment, this trend has introduced a shift in the environment for sincere enthusiasts. The problem comes from the fact that, in the past, Rolex watches have always gone up in value over time, a trend exemplified by a majority of models consistently selling above their designated recommended retail prices, or RRPs. But there's a problem when it's hard for potential buyers to get a watch at the RRP, which forces them to think about more expensive pre-owned options. In these situations, buyers still want to know that their investment will keep its value and won't lose a lot of value soon after they buy it. Fortunately, there are ways for people who really want a Rolex watch and are ready to pay more than the market price to get one. In recent months, there's been a positive turn in the market. If you're considering investing in Rolex, you might find it encouraging. This is because the prices had declined, which gives you much more profit margin when selling. Yet, even with this positive movement, there's a feeling that the market can be uncertain. But market experts think this will continue until mid-2024. Maybe the difficulty of buying Rolex watches have led some buyers to consider Tudor as an alternative option. So the question is, would Tudor be a good alternative to Rolex? When exploring Tudor watches as an alternative to Rolex watches, we can see that Tudor has felt the effects of market changes that have been seen since March 2022. However, taking a step back, Tudor's overall trend has been steady. While certain Tudor models have commanded higher prices than their retail value, the brand is associated with practicality and stability, something that many watch enthusiasts appreciate. It's hoped that Tudor doesn't become a hasty investment choice like Rolex. The wish is for prices to stay consistent and for people to buy a watch because they genuinely want to enjoy it without fixating solely on its potential resale value. The ideal scenario involves purchasing a watch, enjoying it for a few years, and being able to sell it later for a price similar to what you paid initially. This is different from the investment aspect, where price fluctuations can lead to winners and losers. However, with Tudor, stability or gradual growth in line with inflation is the goal, fostering a balanced and equitable situation. Tudor has managed to avoid the pitfalls that affected high-end watches like the Nautilus and Royal Oak, where prices surged and then crashed. Now, let's direct our attention to Patek Philippe. It's important to highlight that the market for Patek Philippe watches, which is gradually stabilizing and is indeed a positive development. 
While the Nautilus model may consistently spark debates and remain in high demand, this leveling off allows individuals to explore alternative models. For all of us, a calmer and more orderly market is preferred when investing in watches we're fond of. We want to know that the market won't act in an unpredictable way that could hurt our interests. We're only ready to lose money on a watch if it gets broken by chance or isn't taken care of, not because of changes in the market. Shifting our focus to Audemars Piguet A similar trend of leveling out is noticeable, and this is a positive indicator for the market. Some individuals might have anticipated further price reductions in the hopes of regaining previous levels, but this scenario appears unlikely. Although the Royal Oak model's popularity has slightly waned, it remains highly coveted. Now, you might be considering Rolex, Audemars Piguet, and Patek Philippe as too expensive for your preferences. If so, you might be interested in brands that aren't so popular. When we talk about Swatch watches, especially the Moon Swatch, we can say that it is in a group all by itself, with complexities that go beyond simple categorization. However, an interesting development emerges in the growing interest in Omega watches. Many individuals who've turned away from Rolex have redirected their attention to brands like Tudor and Omega. Omega offers the advantage of being more accessible and readily obtainable. Furthermore, re-owned Omega watches can often be acquired at a slightly lower price than the recommended retail price. This balance seems right, and as a result, Omega has been able to get back to stability and growth faster than other brands. Since November of 2022, substantial growth has been observed in the Omega market. As a result, Omega is currently regarded as a dependable and secure choice for watch enthusiasts. When examining other brands, it's crucial to underscore that the primary motivation for purchasing watches should be the enjoyment they bring, rather than purely for investment motives. The Speedmaster, which is famous for being the watch that went to the moon and back, is a good example of this approach. This history is a strong reason to buy and keep such a watch. This point of view is shared by a number of other brands that are usually in second position to Rolex. Notable names like Cartier, Breitling, and IWC have all experienced a positive rise in prices since November of 2022. However, Hublot, which encountered obstacles, appears to be on a path of recovery and advancement. The fact that Hublot's prices are going in the opposite direction of what was expected is very interesting. So what can you say about these price movements? Let me know what you think in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you at the next one.